All right, so I'll be making one pound of soup dough, and I'm using a 40% light concentration, which is a significant water discount. My water is frozen. That will hopefully help keep the temperatures low because when you work with soap dough, from what I've learned from sorcery soaps, B is that you want to work in very cool temperatures. Okay, the light has dissolved the ice and it has warmed up a little bit. I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours and I'll come back and just make the soap. In the meantime, I'm gonna get the colorants ready. All right, so here I have the oils that I will use for the recipe. So I'm going to take out of these oils to mix them so that, that way I know exactly what went into it. So I'm going to take one, close to one tablespoon of the oils. This will be the blue. And the rest I think I'm gonna do with water. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of water. Okay, that's close to a half a teaspoon. Where do I have the water? Okay, we'll do this one here. This is the pink clay, rose clay. And I think I'm going to do two of these. So it will be one teaspoon actually. This is gonna go in a small portion of the soup. So hopefully having this uh, strong concentration will give me a strong color for the soap dome, if it all works out. Okay. This is the French green clay. And that one I will also do in water. And I'll probably do the same, one teaspoon. I'm going to add a tablespoon of water. This is the indigo powder. I'm going to add, well, I'm gonna start with half a teaspoon. Since I'm a little bit afraid of this one, since it, it can actually die, like stain. And here I have a madder root that I ground myself. I'm putting in one teaspoon. However, you will see later that this didn't work out too well. My last colorant is a natto powder and I use a half a teaspoon. I pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. However, um, it didn't work out too well. You'll see later. I'm now ready to make the soap. Uh, it's, the oils are looking a little bit cloudy and they are feeling very cool to the touch. And so is the light water. It, it feels, actually this feels like it's like room temperature. Not as bad. So I'm going to add the light water to the oils. Okay, perhaps it's because of the temperature of the oils, but it looks like it's already emulsified. And since I'm gonna do additional blending and I have a, a very high water discount, I'm going to go ahead and split it into the colors. Um, that way I have some working time to put it on the mold. It looks like the um, indigo has gotten quite thick with the oil, like a paste. And I'm going to shoot for 3.25 ounces on each container. Okay, I probably shouldn't have started with the indigo since it's a dark color. But there you have it. It looks very dark right now like a navy blue and I'm trying to incorporate stuff from the bottom since I know that uh, it had gotten quite thick before
All right, so it's been about three days since I made it. I should have actually taken it out of the mold, but I didn't. I forgot, it was a busy weekend. So this is the French green clay. And it seems to have a lot of um, speckles of orange. I'm thinking is that it's uh, cross-contamination from the anato. Maybe because I used the same thing to mix them. So you can see the speckles here. But uh, it seems to be behaving fairly well as soap dough. I could probably make some leaves out of it. This is the rose clay. It actually it needs an adjustment on the amounts of uh, water or rose clay. Uh, right now, the color I do not like. It just looks like raw meat. Now, the more I think about it, the more that's what it reminds me of. And there are some spots where the color and the clay was not well dispersed, and that's probably my fault. But those spots are clumpy in the subdome. So right now, it doesn't have the best texture as subdome. There are clumps and uneven, it's an uneven surface. This is the indigo powder and it's a, a pretty deep blue, like a navy blue. And it seems to, I think it will work great as subdo. It feels smooth and it's pliable. The matter root definitely I use too much and it has a very uneven texture um, it's very lumpy this is not what you want your subject to look like so now the anato was actually a good result even though it's heavily pigmented but as far as the texture it behaves nice as soap dough it feels smooth and it's pliable without being sticky so that's good. What I need to do though is use less of it or use an if infusion, an old infusion, and that will get rid of the um, speckle look. If you're still here, thank you. I hope you liked the video. And if you are new to the channel, you could subscribe by clicking on the logo, which will be somewhere in the screen. Also, I have a giveaway once a month and this could be one of the videos in which there is a giveaway. If it is, it will be noted on the description box. And if it isn't, then maybe it is next time. It will be done once a month and the details will be in the description box. Thank you. Bye.